We're now going to look at PLC module specifications. Now these are in the PLC database. But let's look at what they actually mean. What is a module specification? Well, basically, it's what specifies what type of PLC module you use. So let's right click here, add our active drawing, and apply the project defaults. We'll right click there and go to the properties and drawing properties and give that a sheet value of 07, just so we're numbered up appropriately. So as you can see, our project there updates. So we've got 07 PLC module specifications. If I go to the icon menu here and click on the fly out there and go to icon menu and go here to the PLC IO fixed units, all of these have a specification and you can see it there. There's an Allen Bradley 17618mm, 12mm and so on. So let's go for a 16mm there. So it's a 16mm and it's an L16 AWA 10 inch 6 out. That is my specification. So I drop that in there like so. And there we are. Take a few seconds to think about it because it's putting all the data in there. I'm not going to edit it, I'm just going to OK it. And that drops it straight in the drawing. So there is my AB. If I zoom in here, you can see all of the information there. That's my specification. AB 1761 L16 AWA. So that is my actual PLC module specification. So if I wanted to edit or perhaps create a custom version of this, what I would need to do is go to other tools here and go back here. Remember the PLC database file editor? So if we go in there, it's going to chug a little bit now because it's looking through that entire database. So there's my L16 AWA. That was the one that we had here, wasn't it? And there it is, L16 AWA, and it's an Allen Bradley as well. If I scroll up a little bit, you can see the Allen Bradley specification right there. Now, let's say that I want to create a new module. So this is where I can add my own module specification. So there it is there. It's an Allen Bradley 1761 Micrologics L16, and the code is AWA, like so. So I could add a new module here quite happily. But what AutoCAD block do I insert? What AutoList file do I run? Now again, I didn't edit those earlier, did I, in the previous exercise? But what I could do here is look at the module box dimensions, Let's just set English dimensions for now, and I'll OK that. If I just OK that now, what it does is it brings in a blank one. And there's my AWA right there that I've added to the list. So if I do a done and an insert now, what will happen? Let's have a look. There's the AWA. It actually creates a parametric module for me with those specifications. So there's my AWA there. I OK that. And if I just zoom out slightly... Make sure I don't clash with my non-parametric one. If I just click there, do a spacing there of 25, let's say, and I'll do insert all. I'll OK that and OK that again. There is my blank PLC module because I haven't actually added any of this information, the terminal connectors or anything like that. Nothing's been added because I haven't actually specified that. But what it does do is it brings in a blank PLC module. If I actually go to edit and click on edit here, it knows it's a PLC module, but as you can see, it's a blank PLC module. So, I'll just cancel that, 